Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv and welcome back to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today I have something unique again. Many of you have actually built this kit when you were younger. Um, my dad used to go to San Francisco for a uh, furniture market every year because he was in he was a salesman and he sold uh, furniture and floor coverings. So every year he'd bring me back a little something and most years it was the same thing. Uh, so I built this many times as, as a kid, but now, well, I've got this Thomas Kincaid. It's a beautiful um, uh, San Francisco uh, painting, painting of San Francisco, anyway, cable car and stu stuff. So I wanted something to put on the uh, shelves next to it. Um, you probably saw the, uh, the lighthouse that, uh, that I did for it. Today, we are going to review this old kit out of the stash which is the San Francisco cable car kit. This one's by Testers. Originally though, this kit was by Hawk. And for a million years, it was out as a Hawk kit. Um, I'm not sure when the last time was this was, uh, this was re-released. But the nice thing about the Testers kit is it's got some really nice color photos of how it's supposed to look when it's built. Ooh, ah, uh, which is pretty neat. So it's 148 scale which is really neat and um, uh, I actually have had my uh, Rosie she built one a few years ago gave it to her best friend which I thought was really cute so we're gonna take a look at this uh, you know kind of a unique piece but hey cable cars are, are just cool 148 scale especially so uh, here you go talks a little bit about the painting and how it's supposed to look when you're done uh, fingers don't want to work today. You know, that or it's just really tough paper to open. Talks a little bit about it here, but uh, here you're building your front truck, your um, suspension, your rear truck, and then you start working on the coach. <clears throat> and you continue to work on the coach, and then you put the roof on. And then down here, you've got a... Um, a display stand and I don't know what that string is for I have no idea what that is for I guess so that it stays on there something or other I don't know anyway there's a grand total of uh, 10 steps 11 is you put decals on it and you can weather it if you want to uh, these things are in pretty good shape I know I've ridden them when I was uh, in San Francisco many times and yeah they keep them in great shape uh, so this sprue here you can see a couple of pieces have come off Jeez, I can't imagine why the kit's like 30 years old and I can't remember when testers made this it's probably in the early 80s so anyway um, here I've got a broken piece but I'll have to fix that and a little bit of flash on it um, the seats in the front and the back of the, the coach um, here's the sides of the coach and the roof and part of the display stand and the rest of the roof and the floor and the wheels and some of the interior parts of the coach you got the seats and some various assorted pieces that have fallen down in here that I'm not gonna look at right now but here are these decals which uh, which are actually really nice these look more like stickers we'll figure out what these are but uh, even if we have to cut them and glue them, they look they look really good. Uh, these are definitely decals here. Okay, so we got that with it. But yeah, these are these are kind of neat. You know, little I guess advertisements and such. So we'll figure out how those go on there at some point. You can see there's not much to the kit. It's pretty simple. It's a great one to build with a kid or for a kid. And uh, I think it's going to be a really good weekend builder for me. So let's see how this thing turns out, shall we? 
So here's the actual kit I'm building, the uh, reboxed version by Testers. But uh, a few years ago, I did this one, which was by Lindbergh. Again, it's the same kit, just well, Lindbergh label on it. But originally, many years ago, when I was a little kid, my dad used to go to San Francisco every year and bring me back one of these Hawk kits. And you can see here I am with uh, Rosie. She built one. This was one of her first models a couple of years ago, building that uh, Lindbergh kit. So get started on the kit. I get out my 2X primer as I usually do and spray everything gray. And some of the areas are actually gonna stay in this primer and you'll see that in a minute. I'm gonna get out this uh, skin tone shadow tint that I have from Testers. And that's what I'm going to use for my wood on the benches and the other areas that, uh, that I have that, uh, that we'll be painting uh, a wooden color. Now, the assembly itself goes pretty easy. Uh, the, uh, the trucks uh, went together real easy. Uh, they're pretty much, you paint them black and then the silver for the, um, you know, for the edge of the uh, wheels and a wood color for the, uh, for the brake shoes and the, the bumper itself is white. So, I mean, pretty straightforward and simple. So we're not gonna go through all the build because really, for the most part, the build is, is pretty simple and straightforward. There's not a lot of parts in this thing, as you saw. I'm now gonna take this Soviet sand that I use on so many different projects that I have. It's a nice cream color. And I'm gonna try and match this up to the, to the painting as best I can. I'm gonna paint the top and the interior sidewalls with this color. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it, uh, how it matches up, but, uh, paint one on nice and smooth, of course. And next we're going to use this, um, 1130 or 1736, which I believe is leather, uh, I'm going to spray the front and back of the, of the car with it. And we're going to spray the outside sides with it, at least the lower parts and kind of see how that looks. And here you can see the, uh, you know, the white upper, the kind of leather colored uh, lower, and the uh, Soviet sand here on the top. Also the interior parts. Now I'm gonna take that in the house and I'm gonna look at it next to the Kincaid and see how it, uh, how it compares and see if I like it or not. I've also painted the, uh, the stand with kind of a redder uh, brown color. Uh, can't remember what it was. So I didn't really like the uh, Soviet sand on the top and I decided to go with something a little more yellow. I used this uh, DNRG Aspen Gold and I painted the top in that. It was uh, turned out a little bit more yellow than I really wanted it. You can see the contrast between that and the uh, Soviet sand on the interior. Now I decided I needed to use a burgundy so I'm taking my tester's burgundy and I'm going to spray the lower parts of the, uh, the cab or the, the coach and the front and the back with that. And we'll see how, how that looks on there. You can see how this turned out. Now, as far as the assembly goes, this is where I ran into a few problems. In putting the, the sides and the back on, there was a couple of little fit issues. I had to use a, a rubber band to try and get it to fit tight. Um, there was a little bit of flash issues on the bottom. Uh, where I really ran into the problem was on the top, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But you can see I've painted my frames in that uh, nice wooden color, this one here, uh, which is like a yellow ochre, I think. Uh, anyway, it's model color acrylic. And I used that on my uprights. I actually wound up having to paint the top with that, uh, repaint the top with that because uh, the Aspen Gold was just too yellow. Oh, I know, I'm awfully picky. Uh, for the headlight, I just used some of the chrome Molotow pen and made the, uh, put that on the, on the headlight. And of course, some testers uh, brass for the, for the bell. You can see here on the top, the paint isn't quite dry yet. Uh, went ahead and gave the sides a coat of uh, future floor care and went ahead and put the decals on. Now, this comes with some little thin cardboard pieces for like placards for the side and the front. And I super glued those on as well. You can see here in the back, this cardboard placard. So went ahead and super glued that on. And of course the ones on the side. The uh, Celestial 
uh, windows are in that kind of a, um, uh, they're the wooden, that wooden color that I used. Um, and then the frames themselves are that uh, yellow or ochre color. And you can see the handrails to get on there are white and the uh, footsteps up are also a, uh, a gray. So this is pretty much how it turned out. Pretty simple build, just took a few hours. And here it is, sitting next to the Kincaid. And I think these colors are going to work very well and blend in just, just right. So between the lighthouse and the cable car, I think we've got a winner here. Thanks for joining us, folks.